we have a high of 343 in San Angelo, Texas. And that's downwind of the new place where they're storing radioactive waste in St. Andrews, Texas. We have a high, it's the highest it's ever been there, at 343 in San Angelo, Texas. And if this, this is their high, it, there should be a red con alert there because it's going highest that it's ever been. And then this is where they had the old waste isolation pilot plant, and it's rising in that area too at 448 clicks per minute. Downwind of there in Carlsbad. We have 172. And then, as you can see here, Lubbock, Texas is 286. So, you see all that downwind, the wind is going down this way. And then you have these higher radiation levels going up. I think when the jet stream moves around your area, some areas of that jet stream are going to be clean. Some other areas of it are going to be polluted. And you really just can't depend on a jet stream alone to figure that out because, uh, Every, you know, radioactive isotope is different and they're going to behave differently. You also have a Hurricane 4 that's right near, it's to the northeast of Cuba stream that's moving down. Hurricane 4, guys, close call on the coast of South Florida. And you can see the jet stream is pushing all this air into the Gulf of Mexico. But, you know, we don't have any monitoring stations there that I know of. Now I'm finding this to be kind of strange because we just looked at it when it's blowing on this map. You see something that's very counteractive to the, to the northwest. Now look at this. Now you saw how the winds were blowing on that last map. Those winds were blowing from Texas and they're blowing right into where Colorado Springs is. So you can see right behind here there's a Radcon alert. A, 598. 